heard that rainy days make for a good writing day and to be honest i don't know how true that is but it is rainy here in sunny san diego today and even though we don't get all that cold weather that you east coasters and middle westerners get i am wearing my colorful socks today and i'm looking forward to it being a cozy day now today i wanted to share three tools that i'm using this NaNoWriMo to write my 40,000 word book. All right, so far today I've written almost 1,300 words towards this book that I'm writing and overall for this book I've written over 5,000 words in the last three days. It's November 3rd as I'm recording this. I'm super excited about that and I'm super excited to show you at the end of the month that I reached the 40,000 words. Okay, now let's check out those tools I want to show you. The first tool I'm using is this tool known as Add Atticus. Atticus, I'm falling in love with it very, very quickly. It is a writing tool. It is a formatting tool. So when I talk about formatting, that means you can go to here where it says formatting and it can put it in a book format for you. So like as I'm writing, it's already formatting. How amazing is this? And then of course, you can also write. One of the things I love about Atticus is that you can set a timer for how many words you like, how many, how much time you want to write. Okay. So you can just click on that. You set a timer and then you write. There are more tools over here. Um, I have a book goal for this for about 40,000 words. Today, I wrote um, almost 1,300 words. I'm really, really excited about that. And so, you know, I highly recommend it. It's a paid tool. I think they have a free trial, but, um, you know, because, you know, I'm really getting serious with my writing career, um, I bought this and I'm really, really glad that I invested in it. The second tool I'm really excited about is Pro Writing Aid. Now, there is Grammarly, there are other tools out there that you can use to check your grammar, but I'm loving Pro Writing Aid because it has this writing coach feature so like first of all i can tell you things like length of sentences transitions um if it's readable you know if you're using too many cliches it can help you with alliteration um it can it just it's just so helpful and then when you click on things like when it highlights things so you can click on that and it will tell you you know of course the grammar rule but then there's some of these that you can click on and it will tell you passive verbs make your writing less direct try an active verb instead so they don't just give you a correction for some of these things they actually give you the reason why they're providing that correction i think that's incredible the third tool i'm using is publisher rockets publisher rockets really is helpful for researching categories on Amazon. Okay, so we can go right here where it says category search. And once we click on that, it's going to load up. And then you can begin to look at different categories where you want your book to be in. Since I will be publishing this on Amazon, this book is probably going to fall somewhere under education and reference. All right, so we can check it out. And when you do that, it brings up all the subcategories and also the subcategory paths okay um that you can choose or you can select when you are publishing your book on amazon and this is super helpful because it gives you you know how many gives you the competitiveness essentially of each of these categories and you know you can compare and contrast those and choose the right category for your books of course there are free alternatives to the tools i just shared you can use google docs I've used Google Docs for a really long time to write just about anything. I still love it. I still use it. Um, you can also use Grammarly. There's a free version of, of Grammarly and there's a free version of Pro Writing Aid. Um, and then as far as Publisher Rocket goes, I think there's some tools out there. I haven't never tried those tools. So I can't really recommend one of those, but you can check out um, those free tools. Now, as far as the tools on my desk, okay, I have here, a dictionary yes a real like dictionary and a real thesaurus i still go online to use the dictionary and the thesaurus but sometimes you know i find that it's nice to like just open the pages when i don't want to go online so i have those around my desk um and then i have these three books here they're by an author called 
Valerie Howard and she has written 1,000 helpful adjectives, 1,000 character reactions, and 1,000 strong verbs that you can use in your books because one of the things I found is when you're writing it's easy to kind of be like, man, I've used that word 100 times. Like how, what other word could I use, right? Like, oh, she sighed or he shrugged or he shook his head. Like what else can I say, right, to depict that or to show that? In writing, there's something called, you know, showing and not necessarily telling. How can I show and not tell? And so these three books I'm gonna highly recommend them they've been so helpful for me there are other books like this um on amazon that you could check out but these are the ones that i have i found some really good alternative words to use as i'm writing and i highly recommend them 